We are coming to teach repentance to the Israelites. What time is it? Water! What time is it? Water! What time is it? Water! Who am I? An Israelite! An Israelite! An Israelite! An Israelite! Jesus the Christ. Yes, Lord. This ain't Jesus the Christ. Yes, Lord. Get 
this straight right now. Get this out your mind, black woman. Let your hair grow natural quick. Put that weave in your head. Yes. 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 Now, now give me, I, I, give me Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 13. Hey, y'all, listen to this right here, sister. This is 
a warning from God, okay? Before God destroys, he sends, he sends a warning before he destroys, okay? Listen and bear. Bring it out! Bring it out! Chapter 20, verse 13. Read. If a man also lieth with mankind. Instead of a man lie with another man, or a woman lie with another woman, read. As he lieth with a woman. As you lie with each other, read. Both of them have committed and an abomination. That's an abomination. Alright? Homosexuality and lesbianism in the Bible. According to God, that's an abomination. Give me first Corinthians hey, chapter uh, six and verse nine. Bring it out. I'm gonna tell y'all straight. In the kingdom of heaven, there ain't gonna be no fags in the kingdom of heaven. There's no lesbians in the kingdom of heaven. That's right. You gonna be put to death in the kingdom of heaven. There ain't gonna be no faggots in the kingdom of heaven. That's right. There ain't gonna be no men walking around stacking their pants in the kingdom of heaven. Us, there ain't gonna be no women dressed like whores in the That's right. Be a righteous kingdom set up on earth, okay? Y'all hate God. Yeah, that Jesus looked like right black woman. Did you know Jesus Christ looked like you? Are you surprised that Jesus Christ ain't the white man that gave you all those food stamps? They gave you what all those sexes ate? All that? No, this is Jesus the Christ. The man you hate. The man you hate is Jesus Christ. He looked just like you. Read what you got. First Corinthians. Chapter 6, verse 9. Read. Know ye not? God said, Know ye not, black woman? Read. That the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. The not going to inherit the kingdom of God. Read. Be not deceived. He said, Don't be tricked. It ain't going to be no homosexuals in the kingdom. It ain't going to be no men in the kingdom. It ain't going to be no gangbangers. It ain't going to be no blood. It ain't going to be no Neither fornicators. We read out the Holy Bible, Black Rock. Okay, we are here for you. If y'all love God, y'all should stop in one of these sections and listen to God. Read. No idolaters. He said what? No idolaters. No idolaters gonna be in the kingdom. Read. No adulterers. Uh huh. No effeminate. No what? No effeminate. Okay? And on this side is what you're going to find in the Bible, okay? 
Alright, you see yourself on this side. You know? Alright? Is, is, your, uh, is your father so called African American? Alright? Are you an African American? You're African American, do you see yourself on this side? I'm looking at this side. Okay? Alright, if you are African American, you're from the tribe of Judah. You are the greatest thing God created. Alright? But God said that an ox knows uh, his uh, Read that from top of the list. Thou shalt not 
still, right? Yeah, that's why I didn't take the map. Like, thou shalt not yeah. steal, but no man shall no home. No what? No man shall no home. No man shall. What, what scripture no. is that? You don't know what that's from? That's the boy, what James. Scripture? I don't know what the scripture is. That's it. We got to deal with Ralph. Huh? That's why you take the map. Bro, that's the real one you got. Watch it. So, chapter 68. Chapter 68, verse 11. The Lord gave the word. It said who? The Lord gave the word. It said the Lord gave the word. I'm talking about the mouth. Read. Great was the company of those that published it. It said great was the company of those that published the mouth. Okay? Right? So God gave the word. You understand this? So this Bible was written out of the name of God. Okay? Okay, give me, give me, uh, watch it. I'm gonna show you, uh, Isaiah 34 6 Hey, watch it. I'm gonna show you how to know a man. Watch it. I'm gonna explain. Watch it. Watch it. I'm gonna show you how to know a man. trying to take you away from the word, bro. But anyway, hey, watch it. I'm gonna show you how you know that the Bible. Hey, I'm gonna show you how you know that the Bible was not written by a man, okay? Watch it. Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. It said this is the book of Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. Read. Seek ye out of the book of the law and read. The, the Bible says, seek out of the book of the law. You gotta seek out the Bible to do what? And read. You gotta cut off the radio, cut off YouTube, all right? You gotta seek out of the book of the law and read, okay? The black man don't read no more. The black man wait on your God to tell him. The black man wait on JT to tell him. No one of these shall fail. He said, No one of these shall fail, all right? No one of these prophecies shall fail in the Bible, okay? This is how you know that the white man is right now. He said, Seek me out the book of the Lord and read and know that none of these prophecies are Now I'm going to read through a prophecy that no man can write, all right? Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 16. Tell me, can a man sit down and write this right now? Deuteronomy chapter 28. Verse 68, read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. He said the Lord was, this is a future prophecy. He told the Israelites, he said if y'all don't do what I say do, he said he was going to bring us into Egypt again, all right? We just left out of the land of Egypt, okay? God sent Moses and Aaron and told Pharaoh, let my people go. Okay, you know this story? God was the Red Sea, walked on dry ground. Okay, we was free. But God said for your disobedience, he said, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. He said that he was going to bring us into Egypt again. Now, what do you think Egypt means that we just left out of Egypt? You know what the children of Israel were doing in Egypt the first time? We was in slavery, right? So God said, look, if y'all don't do what I say do, I'm going to bring you into slavery again. Read that again so he'll understand. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. For your disobedience, black man. He said that he was gonna bring us into slavery again. Red ship with what? Red ship. All right, this is in the Bible. You see the cargo slave ship? He said that he was gonna bring us into Egypt again on cargo slave ship. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee. He said, How I'm telling you it's gonna go down. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. He said we weren't gonna see our homeland as a people no more again. That's right. And there, he said, there when you got off those slave ships, read. ye shall be sold. You was gonna be sold unto who? Unto your enemy. Not your friends was gonna sell you. That's your right. enemy was gonna sell you. Now I'm gonna ask you who God calling our enemy. I'm gonna make sure you understand. Bring it out. The white man, read. For bird man. For a slave man, read. And bird woman. And a bird woman, read. And no man shall buy you. Now I'm gonna ask you, can a man write that? God had to put it on his heart to write that. Had to put that on his mind to write that. How y'all doing, sis? Y'all love God. Y'all love God. So that's what we have to do. We have to teach our people how to love God. Y'all believe in God? Okay, let me show y'all how to love God. Y'all give me one second. I'm gonna give you five minutes. About three or four minutes, all right? Because our people, we think that we love God, but we're not doing what God say we do. Okay, do you have children? Okay, how do your children show that they love you? Well, now I'm asking what she do. If you, if you ask her to do something, she does, right? So, 
If God is our Heavenly Father, and He asks us to do something, we should what? If we love Him. Now, let me show you in the Bible what it means to love God. Okay? Watch this. Read that. Right? For this is the love of God. So this right here is the love of God. This is a definition of the love of God. This is what it means to love God. That's what they said with our mouth. That we keep His commandments. That we do what? That we keep His commandments. So we love God. We got to keep His commandments. That's, right. Right. That's what got us into slavery. That's what got us in the bottom of the, uh, of the slave ship. That's what got us brought to a land that we knew not. That's what got us speaking English right now. We was conquered by a whole nation of people. Why? Because we did not want to do what our Heavenly Father said to us. You understand that? So, what I was telling you a while ago, we went into slavery because we did not do what God said to us. Read that again. First John, chapter 5, verse 3. So, if you love God, you got to take action, okay? You just can't say it with your mouth, okay? If you're black, I'm telling you, you got kids. Your kids can't just say, Mama, I love you. And then you ask them to clean their room, and they say, Mama, to hell with you. That means they don't love you. Okay? So, if we love God, it's us do what God say. That's right. There ain't no option no more. You see all the purple circles? We out here to be born now. We come to hell with this country. It's coming to America. That's right. I wake up and love God properly. Okay? The white man, let's get ready. When we got the slave ship, this boy right here taught us how to love God. And he taught us how to love God all wrong. He taught us how to love God without mouth and without action. That's right. Okay? We got the real Christian. We got the real Christian. We got the real Christian. Hold on. Okay? this is the love of God. So this right here is the love of God. This is how you love God. Okay? Worshiping him on Sunday. 
They are not the real Christians, okay? The people that go to church on Sunday are not the real Christians. We don't tell it like this. They are. They worship him. He the one told them. So you don't have to go to church on Sunday? See, you got to pay attention, sis. All right? Sunday, God said, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. Why do you got to be so loud? Watch this. What I would have you know. God said, but I would have you know, sis, to read. Okay. Let the head of every man is Christ. So the head of us is Christ. We the Christians, okay? That's right. The head of the woman is the man. See, the black woman got to accept that. Your head is the strong black man. That's right. Okay, the white man put the black woman over the black man. That's right. Can I take a picture Please. with y'all? the head of Christ is God. It says that the head of Christ is God, okay? Please. Every man praying or prophesying, every head stand covered. Did you hear that, bro? To be a Christian, they say what? Check this out. Every man praying or prophesying, every head stand they said if a man prays or prophesies, right now when you stop and listen to the Bible, you are in the spirit of prophecy, okay? But we are telling you that death and destruction is coming to America. That's right. in the Bible. Jesus Christ is coming back to bust the sky over the same the 12 tribes of Israel. That's the biblical prophecy. You are in the spirit of prophecy. Listen, bro. Listen. Every head, He said that. Read this from the top. Every man prays or prophesies. Every man that pray for prophesy having his head covered. Get some So it's your head. You get some your head. Your head is God. So when the Bible comes out, a man that show respect to God, he must remove his head from his head. But every woman that pray it or prophesy. It says, but it's opposite. I'll, I'll pray it, bro. I'll oh, pray. God, right? Oh, you love God. Okay? This is free. But every woman. Right now, every woman, let's see if the woman loves God, okay? That prayer or prophesy. You in the spirit of prophecy right now, okay? So it said every woman that pray or prophesy. So when you pray to God, you gotta remember to do this. Watch this. With her head uncovered. So if you prophesy with your head uncovered, read. Get some her head. Who God said the head of the woman was? The man. So if you pray to prophesy, your head is covered, covered, and you are covered in your man. Bring it out, huh? You are under your man right now. You are under Christ because why? Your head is covered. Okay? That's a good thing. She got me blinded. You are so covered. You Free. said if I got blinded, I'm going to go ahead. She got blinded. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead. Your head is uncovered. So when you're praying to God, I always show respect to your man. Because you're respecting to God. You cover your head. So all of y'all are perfect? Are all of y'all perfect? Uh, hold on, I'm going to ask you a question. You know what it means to be perfect. I'm the only God perfect. That's it. That's what God is. Matthew, yeah. Matthew chapter 4, verse 48. This is the man. Be ye therefore perfect. Christ said, be ye therefore perfect. Be ye therefore perfect. As your father, which is in heaven, is perfect. He said, you need to be perfect just like your God in heaven is perfect. That's so right. Let me show you what it means to be perfect, okay? You know, y'all, we, do we stumble? Yeah, hey, we stumble. Okay? Do we fall short? Yeah, we fall short sometimes, okay? But you got to strive to be perfect. This is what it means to be perfect. So, chapter 119, verse 7. What it means to be perfect. Pay attention, sis. The love of the Lord is perfect. Pay attention. What it means to be perfect. See, y'all gotta pay attention. Listen, listen. Listen, listen. The love of the Lord is perfect. The love of the Lord is perfect. Read. That was going to convert your soul, okay? The laws of God. Can you be perfect? You can strive to be perfect. It's now going to give you a law to show you after the beginning to be perfect. Bring it out, huh? See, this is what it means to be perfect. 
This what's gonna change us. What we got is the solution to our community. That's right. We got the solution to baby mama, baby daddy. That's we right. Can, we can change the black community and make it husband and wife. Like the white man, you go in the white man community, what they got? Husband and wife. If you go to the Chinese community, what they got? Husband and wife. If you go to the Arab community, what they got? Husband and wife. But they got that the, in black too. No, they got baby mama and baby daddy in the That's right. Ain't nobody. The they black do. man is not marrying the it's black woman. Like the So you got to learn how to keep God laws. That's perfect. right. Now, I'm going to show you a law, okay? When I do this, don't pull out so fast, okay? We're trying to make you perfect. That's right. The woman shall not wear that which pertain unto a man. Do you understand that? No, it's mine to me, please. You know what he said? is not supposed to wear that which pertains to a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman garment. So a man ain't supposed to put on a woman's garment. So That's right. What is a woman garment that a man can put on? So a man ain't supposed to have on no dress, right? All right? Yeah. Now what? Now we can run it. Yes, I am. Watch this. Pay attention. No woman. It says the woman. We shall not wear which pertains unto a man. Woman ain't supposed to wear what pertain to a man. Now what a man supposed to wear? Okay. So, uh, okay, what a man wear? Suits, slacks. Yeah. Uh, they wear suits. Jeans. Okay. So they say that a woman ain't supposed to wear what? Woman is not supposed to have on jeans, okay? That's what's gonna change our community. Yeah, have a nice night. Now, see, I told her don't pull out this. No, see, they why? always make people pull out. Why would they make them? You them why would they make them and wait? Who, who made them? Who made them? Who made them? Who made them? It's a talent. It's a woman name on jeans. I'm just saying, it's a talent, and this is helping them people survive through the daily life. Why you can't wear jeans? And they, this, these women. That's not a such thing as women That's right. That's not a such thing. That's to y'all, baby. Hey, yeah, hey. And let y'all believe. Is it a such thing? And you know what? Thank hey, you. Hey, listen, listen. Is it a such thing as a man? Is it a, you drop yeah. your purse. Get hey, that for me, girl. Is it a such thing as a man? Thank you. Thank you. Is it a such thing as a man dress? I want it. If it is, they were no. Hold on. Back up. Back up. Back up. Y'all have a nice day. Okay. So what we doing is trying to change our community. As you can see that, as you can see that, the black woman don't want to change. Simple why? She don't want to do what God say do. That's right. Turn around. Look at how women dress. The white woman is dress like this. They ain't seen to show her shape. That's why she got a husband. Look at the black woman. Look at the black woman how she dressed. God said, give me one song that you and I. I'm going to show you how God told you to dress for the black. You are the princess on the earth, okay? That's right. If God, you ain't dressed like you want to dress. Right. You want her to do your will? You want her to do the will of God. That's right. You want but you want to be a slave to do what you want to do. God didn't throw you into slavery so you can do what you want to do. He didn't throw you in slavery to live it up. He didn't throw you in slavery to get a big old house, want to live like a white man. He didn't do that. Why did he throw us in slavery? That's a good question. Watch this. Let me just read the scripture and I'm going to show you exactly why he threw us in slavery. Be modest. To be modest means 
our channels down as some of you've noticed <laughs> ever so often subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts we want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos so again Please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.